All right, so I don't have a setup for this. I just is gonna be the first video where I'm gonna, I guess, kind of show a tutorial. So uh, I'm just doing a revisit on the X shot long shot. And basically I'm just gonna break down what people's questions are on the internet. So they were asking about how did you do this 3S LiPo? Or what did you do to your blaster? So um, these are thumb screws, um, basically. I took this from a nightingale that I bought from out of darts. And so they look like these. I did two of them just to get easy access to this battery door. So I didn't do any trimming on this side, but if you take a look here, I routed XT 30s, XT 60s, XT 30s. So these are the smaller, the smaller old, uh, the smaller Dean's type connections here. And the 60s are a lot fatter, they're bigger. And for these batteries that I'm running, these are drone, like three inch drone batteries. So um, people say a lot of stuff about lipos, but I've never had a problem with lipos. I don't do anything crazy like pinch them or like smash them. And I've used lipos in, in RC cars and I'm pretty rough with those. So that's how I feel confident about throwing a lipo in here so you don't want to leave the lipo plugged in after you're done i do it but just for safety at your own house don't leave that plugged in because in case something happens i mean usually this is already open it's an open circuit when you close it you're basically using the switch here to close the circuit and create current through the blaster so I did shave, if you look here, I shaved out openings. You could just use some kind of clippers. I'll grab the tool here in a bit, but you clip them out. And that's basically how big my, where you see those lines going down, going sideways. That's about how wide my LiPo is. It's actually smaller than that. And it goes in there. I'll, I'll get the LiPo in a bit to kind of show you how that fits, but a similar size LiPo that I have. There, these are, this is a 2S, and basically I safely run it in 2S, and this is what a 2S battery looks like on a 2 to 3 inch drone, but it fits right there, you plug it in, and... There's a lot of uh, RPM in these motors because... These are uh, 130 size motors, and I got these from Worker that ca came out of my Worker Phoenix 2.0. Um, you don't need to know that if you're just putting some kind of motors, but just get some good 130 size motors. You can use some Krakens from Out of Darts. Um, I think that would probably be the best one because they have uh, not the fastest RPM, but good amount of torque. So let me just kind of start. I guess breaking it down so you do got to remove all these screws some of these holes like this one here does not have a screw in it this one doesn't this one doesn't but you got to go all the way around don't forget to remove um, this piece here which is attachment to your tripod and then another thing is make sure you go in through the handle um, there's going to be a motorized gear that helps spin this so not much but there are trimmings that you're gonna have to do up in here to make this fit because there is a flywheel cage that you you gotta print I know it's complicated maybe somebody on Etsy will do a print I'm not too sure if I can print these out online and sell them because uh, the person who did make it is Buff Daddy Nerf and I would probably have to go through a um, an agreement where hey can I sell your product and do it that way but you know it's on thingiverse thingiverse.com i think printables too and there are different cage size depending on your flywheels so i had flywheels for my nerf moto blitz and they recommend a 41 millimeter crush on on that so what i went and did is I downloaded the 41 millimeter flywheel cage 
because there's going to be different sizes 39 40 41 42 and i think i didn't i did print a 41 but i think the 41 was too much crush so i ended up using the 40 i believe so we'll end up opening this up and you'll see how that works but um yeah this is the beginning of it all right so once you remove all these screws you do got to watch out for the handle portion there are like some spring um returns and things that are going here so this trigger section is complicated but uh man i remember doing this and i was like it took me a good while but now that i'm revisiting it i might as well refresh myself oh my god all right here we go so there are wires coming up and they're basically your uh trigger wire and they are your um that what's going to your lipo so if i just kind of show it off to the side here what i can do is i can feed this here so you can kind of see what's going on okay i believe this is a some kind of a diode or i can't remember what these are called but they're just kind of regular regulating your your current up in here but i just used it i didn't want to not use it okay so this is what's pulling your um darts and driving them into the flywheels gets a little more complicated if you really take this apart but you really got to just get here and so these flywheels that i have are day brakes and they were the day brakes that were supposed to go into the uh moto blitz so that's what i used but you do have to trim okay so the, some of the trimming i think comes from where is it at uh, it's uh i believe it's this part oh yeah see you can see right here where these flywheels are um the heads of these they're going to be rubbing against this so trim some out give yourself some space um, i'll open this up a little bit yeah i'm just having issues trying to get to that, uh, that pusher wheel this is how you get to the flywheel cage you got to take that one screw out okay and then there's four here and I'll show you what I did to print my, when I printed my flywheel cage, and we'll verify what size that is. So this is that gear I was telling you earlier that's driving that. There are rubber bushings that are um, vibrational dampers and they are to help secure for some i guess vibration tolerances so there's that and once you set these flywheels in you do have to align them they because once these feed if they go crooked your your darts are not even going to make it through this barrel so that's another thing this isn't the easiest mod just to open this if you haven't opened any blasters before then be prepared so you can just set that aside and then once these are out and putting those rubber bushings in there do give it some some uh, tightness so there's that okay i rewired this okay i did use a thicker gauge wire so there's that. These are those worker motors I was talking about. If you get something bigger that aren't, that are a different kind of 130 size motors that are sticking out, you might have to shave some stuff back here. So be mindful of that. This is a Buff Daddy Nerf 41.5. So this is a 41.5 uh, millimeter flywheel cage. Okay, so I gotta get this out. Otherwise, we're gonna be stuck. We're gonna be stuck. Oh, 
What do I got? And I have taken this thing fully apart and it's not fun. It's not fun because if things don't align up right, you're not going to have spinning of the barrel or something. So oh, where did that spring go? There was a spring that just popped out somewhere. I'm going to have to go look for it. But okay. So yeah, this is the motor that's geared to drive the the gear here so I believe it goes something like that and there's like a, a tooth there that keeps it from slipping see so when this goes this gear is driven there's clicking going on here um, and a locking device so when you do switch over from one uh, from Locking up your, what is this called? This mechanism. This is basically the loading mechanism for your darts, for the chain. But if you wanna go back, you got clicking and then you can unlock it and lock it. So there's that. And here's the spring I was talking about. This is the return spring. So you do got to be very careful when putting this back together because this has to go to this post and it's going to cause some tension like that so yeah when you do this motion it it's going to activate one switch which is here and that is going to drive your flywheels and then this one right here is going to drive the the chain mechanism so Again, be sure you give yourself some trimming space. If you do do the day breaks, you're just gonna have to kind of find around uh, what kind of flywheels you want. But the darts that feed through this gap here, which is around uh, like a 41 millimeter gap, it doesn't shred my darts up like you would think. So that's why I went that route. So I'm gonna assemble this back together and. That's the insides of the rage fire. Just getting it back together when you close the clamshell is kind of a tricky part. Look at this thing. What if there was a dart that would fit through that? That would be insane. A Mega XL, that'd be cool. This is kind of essentially what that's like. Some people would just trim this down, which is kind of a good idea because it's ridiculous. So I'm gonna put this back together. Um, I'll do it off camera and then we'll do a firing demo. Okay, so basically I got this back down and this is a fastener for the barrel basically and kind of a, a brace for the flywheel cage. It's only one screw, okay? These ones don't have screws. I'm about to sandwich this back and feed this through. Now when you do, make sure you're not pinching any wires. Well, these wires are very sensitive these are what you don't want to mess up because those can cause a fire if they are pinched and you cause basically kind of like a short so feed your xt30 back through and make sure this is all your trigger is all good and then you press it together Okay, everything should sandwich good. You could put your handle back through. Okay. And just to kind of give it a roller test, I'm gonna use that 2S battery that I had and just make sure everything's turning. That's not turning it because I didn't have that lock. So, you see that? This is what switches is, is going to engage that. So whenever you need to reload or remove the belt, you go this way. And that disengages. You can't use that, okay? The other switch is for 
it's to lock up this um it's for the tripod mount so it doesn't sag and drag so that's that any other questions i guess you could just shoot me a dm but most of the parts you can get from actually all the parts you just get it from out of darts you could do xt60s and use a you know something fatter you got a you got a lot of space in here you can really trim this up and put a fatter battery but i don't know i, I have never been to a game where you're playing so long and you need more milliamps so this is a this is a 2s in rc cars sometimes you get a 2s battery that's really huge because the milliamp is basically like the gas that's in the battery not gas as in like it's like the fuel not like the gas as in like a an um, air gas this is like basically the milliamps is what's giving the amount of time to play with your blaster so you get more out of it when you're using drones most of your flights are around like two to three minutes so if you're just constantly running and pulling this trigger you're probably gonna get five to ten minutes and you're gonna have to charge but uh get yourself a lipo charger and i'll show you something that i'm using this was a hata hoda and it's got more functions but this charges all the way up to 6s it's got a wireless uh magsafe type charger up at the top but this thing is bad you need this if you're droning or if you're just into hobbies um if you have a soldering iron that uses this kind of stuff uh you can charge all this stuff up in here but these here are the xt60s so you do need an adapter i have an adapter that goes from xt60 to xt30 run that and when you do charge them depending on how many cells so when you when i'm talking about s that's for cells so there's a 2s which is this is a 2s because you see you can see here it's got two cells one and two three prongs uh i forget what the, the third is it's a positive negative and then i think one's the uh the balancing cell reader so when you say 3s you'll see three layers of this and 4s same thing 6s gets thicker so uh you do get that and you get more weight usually in drones you, you don't want to go too much weight or too much milliamps because that will add weight to your flight so yeah shoot me up